We're talking about a non-invasive blood glucose monitor. No finger pricking, no sensor on your body, and it will get approved for diabetes patients by the authorities. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tom. I've been a diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel, I help you navigate your diabetes journey. It's not only Medtronic, Abbott and Dexcom anymore, but companies like Apple are incorporating a blood glucose monitor in their smartwatches. And we're talking about a non-invasive blood glucose monitor. So no finger pricking, no sensor on your body, just Apple Watch displaying and showing you your blood glucose glucose levels. You don't believe me? Well, consider this. Apple's CEO Tim Cook was testing a CGM already in 2017. And since then, the company has been pouring a lot of money into research and development of different medical devices, including a CGM. And Apple has so much cash on their balance sheet. In fact, they have almost unlimited amount of funds they can use to research and develop uh, these kind of devices, including a non-invasive blood glucose monitor. According to server iDrop News, there was a report in early 2021 out of South Korea that was claiming that a blood glucose monitor will already be included in the next series of Apple Watch, Series 7. And Series 7 will actually be coming out later this year, probably will be announced in September. So how will the Apple Watch measure blood sugar non-invasively? Well, let's have a look. Rumor number one says that it could be done using optical infrared sensor. This technology already exists in Apple Watch and it used to measure heart rate and blood oxygen levels right now. Now, if I understand this correctly, and I'm no scientist, the sensor is built into the back of the Apple Watch and it uses clusters of lights that shine onto the blood vessels in the wrist and absorb oxygen. And there are photodiodes that measure how much light bounces back. The rumor says that this or very similar technology could actually absorb not only oxygen molecules, but also glucose molecules. And this is actually a method that many companies have been working on since 2012 already. Apple most likely already has a blood glucose monitor, which is apparently supplied by a British startup called Rockley Photonics. This company designs silicon photonic sensors for non-invasive monitoring of blood using exactly infrared light. Rockley claims that Apple is their biggest customer that has already been buying their products and services since 2017. And they say that Apple committed to spend even more going forward. This sounds really promising. Rumor number two says that Apple would use electromagnetic terahertz radiation for the non-invasive blood glucose measuring. There are four new patents that the company recently secured and this indicate that Apple could use this technology in the future version of Apple Watch. The patents don't use exactly the word blood glucose measuring or blood sugar measuring, but we know that companies have been trying to use this technology for non-invasive blood sugar monitoring devices. That's why I think we are very, very close. And by the way, the terahertz radiation penetrates deeper in the skin. So it sounds like it might provide more accurate readings than the infrared method. Let's think about what would be the advantages and disadvantages of Apple Watch as the blood glucose monitor. Well, I think the main advantage is that this would be much more comfortable People wouldn't have to wear a sensor, wouldn't have to prick their fingers. It would just be so easy to just look on your watch and see what your blood sugar is. Another advantage would be cost because the blood sugar testing strips, the sensors, this all costs a lot of money and not everyone can afford wearing a sensor that is currently on the market to continuously monitor their blood sugar levels. With a smartwatch like Apple Watch, we would only purchase the device once and then we could use it for the life of the device instead of buying testing strips or expensive sensors that by the way produce a lot of waste every month. And even if Apple decides to charge, let's say, subscription for the CGM function, I'm sure this would be much less compared to how much the current continuous glucose monitors like Freestyle Libre or Dexcom cost. And so for the users, 
if this comes with this uh, global market device, I think this will be huge cost savings, especially for those who don't have a good insurance. Also, because we will not have to stab needles in our body, this will reduce the uh, risk of infection, uh, skin damage, and so on. One potential disadvantage, and I think this is a big one, is that the initial version might not be accurate enough and it might not obtain uh, approval from the regulators like FDA in the US or CE Mark in Europe. And this is usually not so easy to obtain. So let's hope this functionality would be accurate enough and the company would be able to secure this. But I'm actually not so worried because when Apple releases a new device or new service to the market, it is actually already fine-tuned and it works really well. Compared to other competitors, Apple only releases new things when they are sure it's a really good product and it really works. By the way, I asked all of you in a poll on my community page if you think that the next version of Apple Watch will have a blood sugar monitor. 38% of you think it will, 48% think it won't. And some of you made really interesting comments under the poll and I want to address some of them right now. Pan Stanislav says, no, it's impossible. Apple Watch is a mass market product. There will be nothing like this in the coming years. Well, I disagree. You are saying that Apple Watch is a mass market product. Here, I agree with you. But let's look at how many people have type 1 or type 2 diabetes. In fact, this is more than 10% of the world population. In developed countries, more than 10% of people have diabetes. In the US only, we have more than 35 million of people with this disease. And if we look worldwide, we're talking about close to 1 billion people or potential customers. And these numbers are growing fast, by the way. And I believe that the vast majority of these people would use the blood monitoring function on the Apple Watch if it was available. Isn't this a mass market? If we look at the blood oxygen sensor, for example, that was released as part of the previous generation of Apple Watch, I don't believe it is used by 10% of Apple Watch users. Actually, I doubt that it's used even by 3% of the users. So the market here is much smaller and Apple released the blood oxygen sensor anyway. I personally think that all these patent applications and chatter in the industry indicate that we will have a non-invasive blood glucose monitor in a mass market product sooner than we all think. Would I personally use a blood sugar monitor in the Apple Watch? Are you seriously asking me this? I am a big fan of Apple. I use a lot of their products and full disclosure, I own some of their shares. So I might not be totally objective here. But my opinion is that Apple is great at innovation. Their products have great quality and they are extremely reliable. So I would totally use a blood sugar monitor if it was available in the Apple Watch. I would not think about it even a second. And if you don't believe that Apple will ever be a healthcare company, well, think about it. It actually makes perfect sense for Apple to make more medical and health related functions available on their products because these functions will improve health of their customers. And if their customers are healthy, they will live longer. And this means that they will purchase Apple's services and Apple's products for a longer time, which will increase Apple's revenue and Apple's profit, which is ultimately a goal of every commercial company. Another viewer, Ray of Light, wrote in the comments that she can see Apple releasing something like an iGlucose type watch and she thinks it's more likely Apple Watch will have better compatibility with current CGM systems like Dexcom. Well, I agree with you. They probably will have a better integration with other CGM systems like Dexcom. But I think the fact that they cooperate with companies like Rockley indicates case that they want to have their own blood sugar monitor in their watch sooner than we might all think. It might not be Apple Watch 7, but my personal tip is that we will have this technology in the next two, three years and it will get approved for diabetes patients by the authorities by five years, maximum five years. Actually, I think it will be even less. Guys, if you want more about diabetes technology, then definitely click on one of the videos on the screen right now, subscribe to my channel and definitely check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!